I've been in here since the Super Bowl. Buckle up. It's time for Mahomes Mountain. Ah! One false move. We're probably off the mountain for good. I won't stop climbing. They're going to try to get me to stop. I'm never going to stop. I'm going to keep going. Grit and determination. That's what I'm about. Right yeah! Now. Hi! It's Joel McHale, everyone. Oh my gosh, the weather! <laughs> Am I right? The best segment in all of sports that ranks quarterbacks, it's Mahomes Mountain. Wow. Flying off. We're gonna bring in some fresh blood for the intro. So without further ado, live from New York, it's Mahomes Mountain! It's all true and it's all confusing. So to sort it all out, let's keep climbing. Mahomes Mountain. <laughs> I appreciate that, Look Kevin Wilde. A little oh, self-important if, if I must say so myself, but <laughs> it was quite well done. All right, even from Yankee Stadium, it's Tuesday, it's football season, so we have to do Mahomes Mountain. Who is off the mountain? Let's start right there and get right to it. Off the mountain, Gardner Minshew stays off the mountain. Daniel Jones kept his job, surprisingly. Brian Dable said today that I'm making quarterback change. He's off the mountain. Anthony Richardson. Uh -oh. Far too exhausted to climb, and we found out <laughs> a few hours ago they're going with Joe Flacco. Way to draft a project quarterback in the top five and give him ten starts before you go to the oldest quarterback in the he NFL. He tapped out. That, he, uh, he needed a break. <laughs> he didn't tap out of his career. What are you doing What's with Joe that? Flacco? What's the future, He's, He was in the playoffs You make the year. playoffs hey, with hey. Flacco, and you have Anthony Richardson working behind the scenes. It's not that complicated. Thank you. Sorry. Keep Simple. going. Live from Yankee Stadium. I didn't interrupt your intro <laughs> sizzle reel, sir. And then at the bottom, I don't even know who the quarterback of these three teams are. I don't know who they're going to go with. Seriously, I don't know if they're going with Hayner or Rattler. I don't know if they're going with Rudolph or Levis. And I don't know if they're going with Bryce or Andy Dalton. They're all off the mountain. Row seven, welcome to the mountain, Jameis. He deserves it. Yeah, he now, he Tua will climb the mountain, I'm confident. But right now, first game back, he's on the mountain. Aaron Rodgers drops. This is, I think, second time ever he's been a bottom row guy. Hard to argue anywhere else. Drake May, man, we had to, if we had a mountain committee, we would have convened to figure out, does May fall off the mountain? Because he got he knocked oh. out of the game, and then Brissett came and played very stays where he is. Bo Nix is playing fine. Like, his, the numbers are actually good. Yeah. I think the eye test is fine. And I put Malik Willis on there because he saved the Packers again. Yeah. Three and times. Fair. Three Fair. times. He's been excellent. So shout out to Malik Willis and classic three by me, mocking the Packers for not having a better backup plan at quarterback when it turns out they have a great backup plan at quarterback. He's been great. Row six, Russell Wilson. No one thought, not even Brew, he'd be moving up the mountain, but he is. Look at who he's alongside. Three of my favorites. Caleb has to drop. Because 30 yards through three quarters, not great. Even though he had two separate game-winning touchdown drives, it's fine. <laughs> Geno drops as well. They had some real red zone troubles. That Bills game, if you weren't watching it, they have the ball inside the five. They snap goes over there. They settle for a field goal. They have it inside the five. Again, they get zero points. Disaster. And Dak, obviously, played really poorly. Sam Darnold. I, I don't put this last loss on him, even though a little pumpkin watch. And Trevor Lawrence played well, but this team's two and six. He stays where he is. Row five. Baker drops because, the listen, he is still slinging it and he doesn't have his weapons, but the turnovers the last few weeks have been problematic. Jordan Love's got to drop because the guy got hurt again. Like, the, we're now there's now multiple times this season he's had to leave a game with injury. Malik came in and did well. Kyler, Cousins, and Purdy, kind of three horses of a different color. Similar, in my opinion, caliber quarterbacks, the three of them, even though they all play stylistically incredibly differently, but they all move up after very solid performances by all three of them this week. And now to the top ten. Jared Goff drops. Now, you might say that's outrageous. They scored 50 <laughs> points. How many passing yards, KW, do you think he had? How many does he need? How, how many passing yards do you think he had? Just give it a guess. Throw a number. They scored 52 points. It's, I think it's going to be similar to when Josh Allen beat up mm -hmm. on Trevor Lawrence and had like 185 passing yards. I know that, you you, you he... nailed it. 
Except right. you said 100 first, because it's 85. He had 85 bad yards, scored 52 <laughs> points. <laughs> points. I don't care. He had 85 bad yards. He Mahomes. had two touchdowns in 28 <laughs> the, passing the, yards. He had 85, he had 85 passing way, yards. I'm with, I'm with what did you just say? Position players I'm with you touchdown. on this, Wilds. Okay, that, well, come on. He's right, about well, wins. Hey, hey, guys, it's he didn't not, need to do it. It's not about wins. I, and when you see the six guys ahead of him, you guys just tell me who golf should move ahead of. Justin Herbert played awesome this week and moves up. Joe Burrow stays yeah. where he is. Keep I know Wilds. Why does he, why does he dr- stay there? What do you How mean? many points do they score? 17. But, okay. Got drilled. But Joe I don't have him. Lost the Super Bowl years ago. I don't have him ahead of Jalen golf. Hurts. They're all it the same left to row. Right. Jalen Hurts just beat him. The, and J- J- it is not left to right. Jalen Hurts moves up. Now to the top six guys. You tell me which <laughs> of these six you want golf ahead of. Jaden, your guy. You're trying to steal him from Brew. You can't say ahead of Jaden. Threw a Hail Mary, won a game. Matt Stafford finally got some guys healthy out here cooking. I know it was on Thursday night. Everybody forgot be about it. Staff. The Rams are right there. And then C.J. Stroud, again, his receivers are dropping, man. Yeah. Uh, found out today, Diggs torn ACL. That's devastating for him, by the way. Remember they ripped his contract up? as a free agent. Yeah. Yeah. Nico Collins not back yeah. yet. Row two stays the exact same. Lamar and Josh Allen right there. They flip, though, right? Not it's right. not left to right. No. I know, but why? Then why they flip? Random. Bro, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. I, I send, the, 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 I send the list in, <laughs> and then the producers decide left to right. I yeah. just tell them <laughs> tier, so I got I nothing to do with it. And then atop the mountain is the most criticized quarterback in the league, given the fact that he hasn't lost a game since Christmas. He's the best fourth quarter quarterback in the league, and every week he does a different thing that's just awesome. Patrick Mahomes. That's the right. latest edition of Mahomes Mountain Brew. Go ahead. Well, Nick, look, I, I'm going to give you some respect. Thank you. Because usually the mountain is littered with bias. <laughs> yeah. But you dropping Caleb, you dropping Gino, like, yeah, those look. are your guys. Yes. And you dropped them, so I, I'll give and you I some credit. And I elevated your guy party. You elevated Ru- a little bit, yeah. Elevated okay. Russ. So I'll give you some respect for that. But Her- Hertz, and Hertz is a guy I like too high, though. Too high? Yeah, he's too high. He's too high. high. He's gotten... I would have Baker, J Lo, Jordan Love for those not in He's the know, hurt. and Kyle, but Brock Purdy ahead of Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, I know in the last three games, nine touchdowns, zero picks, right? Great. Yeah. But five of those touchdowns are rushing touchdowns. Four of those are from the one yard line. Yeah, I All right, so, so it's five touchdowns I agree with that part. outside of those one yard tush pushes that a lot of guys could do. All right, he didn't. Now, Nick's not, always. Not a lot hold of guys. On. No one Nick, does it. Nick's always ripping Purdy for not having the Avengers. And uh, Jalen Hurts did not look great without A.J. Brown. Now A.J. Brown's back, and he's looking good with Brown. Yeah, so I, rip, I, I like Hurts Hurt is playing play well. well. I'm just saying those three guys that I named, Baker, J.Lo, and Purdy, I would put them ahead of Hurts. I think they're playing better. Right. They throw the ball much better. The so J.Lo thing right. is confusing Get, our new staff. Yeah, Jordan I, Love. It just I, I makes know. perfect there sense. People are like, oh, uh, J.Lo. All right, so. I want to be careful here because the only time Bruce ever truly gotten mad at me on the air was when he misunderstood what I was saying and thought I was questioning his integrity. <laughs> I'm not questioning your integrity here, Bru. <laughs> However, I do think you're including Baker Mayfield on the guys who should move up just so it's not once again you saying Brock Purdy should move up. I said I, I, well, that's what I said you just J-Lo really too. And you said that just because you wanted to really drive home this J-Lo <laughs> nickname. Listen, I try to be fair. You guys know I'm not a big Jalen Hurts or Eagles believer, yeah. but no, I, they I, have, I give you, they, they're on a three-game winning streak, mountain. and each week they're more impressive. The Cleveland game, they were bad, got away with it. The Giants, Giants are bad, but they were excellent. And this past week, they played a Bengals team that's sneaky good, and they rolled them. Sneaky good. KW? Uh, a tricky spot here for me. Why? Because I told the producers I wanted to move um, Drake May up. But once I looked at it, I'm actually okay with him being where he is. <laughs> but with a caveat. It's like when I go to Amazon and I'm not ready to buy something, but I just put it in the cart. Save and just for let, later. I just let it sit there. Drake May is eventually going to move up, and I want to keep it. I just want to plant some seeds right now. Here's some good stats about Drake May. How's he doing this year? Turns out, fantastic. You were worried about Drake May. Nope. 162 stops, six touchdowns, only two interceptions. Passer rating, solid. Look at the yards per rush. He's out here like Josh Allen. That's out here with Derrick Henry type numbers. Arm strength. That's never uh, that's never been a strength of the Patriots since no. Tom Brady left. Yeah. He but can, for Drake can, May, it's he good. He can sling it, though. Yeah. He's and, but home. can he run? 
Yes, he can. Did you know he was this fast? I, I know that he scored like the fourth fastest quarterback touchdown ever the last I didn't years. realize it. Yeah, he's running because, 20 miles an hour yeah. as much as a slow car. So for those for, for those reasons, I just want you to think about moving Drake May up. Can I, can I just when say something? Back in the game. Can I just say something real yeah. quick? Twenty point three three. When when you said in the meeting this morning, yeah, you're moving Drake May up. Everyone audibly groaned because nobody wanted to talk about Drake May and nobody understood it because Drake May played like six snaps this week. He and ran 20.33 yes, miles per yeah, hour. Exactly. And I think he I think he threw four passes and then got knocked out of the game. So it didn't make sense that he should move up. But all of us were like, well, he is a national well, where's treasure. Where's Jacoby Brissett he with is, his game-winning he, drive? He is a national treasure, Kevin Wilds. I'm sure he'll spin <laughs> a nice yarn about it. And then it, it was your time to do it. And you were like, upon second thought, I shouldn't have picked him. That's no, a bad I'm, job called, by you. It's called planting a seed. That's the, Okay. It's called developing a take. You know what? Like I like how Drake May needs to be developed professionally. The take is going Trees to be Trees don't grow on Mahomes Mountain. Time now for Willie Mays Mountain because we're live. True. Oh, yeah. We're live Can't from the World Series. This. this is very simple. This is the 10 guys who have played the best in this World Series. Okay. It is not about who the best actual player is. Or, you know, like, okay. It's not Aaron Judge and Shohei at the very top. It's this World Series. Bottom row. Juan Soto's doing his thing. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the pressure of the six hundred million dollar contracts is not bothering him at all. He's doing his thing. Yamamoto was excellent in his. I think it was the yep. best start. Walker Bueller obviously is excellent as well, but got the kind of series off on the right track in game two for them. Mookie Betts is hitting just well enough, and yep. on top of that, also Wild showed it earlier. Always excellent fielding, and Shohei. Just the fact that he didn't. They're down 2-0. He's got a billion dollars. Up to He's got. A, I'm sorry. Up to oh, thank yeah. you. That that's actually my point. They have a margin of error there. Yeah. And nobody would have killed him if he was like, "Hey, yep. I need today." And he's like, "No, put me out there. Draw a walk in my first at bat." I do think it engenders confidence, and it didn't give the Yankees that shot in the arm. Yep. So he gets there as well. Row three. Listen, Teoscar Hernandez is four for twelve at the plate. And gunned down Stanton. Yeah. And it was a huge moment in the game because who knows what happens after that would have been four to one with a man on second. Everything changes. Tommy Edmond has, has just been raking. Hey, whether he's hitting he nine, really wherever had. he's hitting. And I thought Garrett Cole pitched really well and he, well enough for them to win. D deserved to, to get a decision in there. He obviously didn't. Row two is pretty obvious to me. Giancarlo Stanton is just a historic postseason performer. And Walker Bueller has now three career World Series starts, 18 innings, 22 strikeouts, one earned run. I mean, what he is, a, a .5 ERA. Yes, and it, for coming off two Tommy Johns yeah. and injuries to get back to his Cy Young self. And then obviously, Freddie Come Freeman, <laughs> who in nine career World, World Series games is slugging 853. And how about this for a list? Because Freddie Freeman, Already has a league MVP, has won a gold glove, and right now would be the World Series MVP, obviously. Yep. Johnny Bench, Roberto Clemente, Bob Gibson, Brooks Robinson, Frank Robinson, Pete Rose, Mike Schmidt. The only people ever to be a league MVP, World Series MVP, and gold glove winner. Wow. wow. That's the list, and this would be his second World Series, by the way. So... That, that's what he's pacing towards. That's a great point you made. And the mountain's good. Uh, Willie Mays Mountain, better than Mahomes Mountain usually yeah. is, oh, for sure. That's unfair. Um, I don't have any major arguments with that. Freeman, interesting. The difference in the sports, not to take anything away from that accomplishment, he will be the World Series MVP, assuming they win. I yeah. mean, a, a Dodger would have, it'd have to go seven. And another Dodger would have to, like, save him, you yes. know, in that game seven or something like that and play well the next four for Freeman not to win it. But, you know, in, in baseball, unlike basketball, and a lot of – probably the Super Bowl for the most part, too, an average player oh, yeah. could be the MVP. Yeah. Like, Edmund in a lot of – you know, he could end up yep. being an MVP at times. So there's that. But I want to say this about Cole because you had him pretty high, which I'm fine with. This is where, like, Cole was cooking – in game one. Maybe you leave him in. 
I'm just saying, like, this, that's where baseball today with the analytics, they want to make a lot of these changes just based on the stats. He had it going. Sometimes you have to go against those and go with feel. Maybe he wins that first game, and it's a tire, entirely different series. You know why? Old school. Old school, baby. There has to be a mix. Analytics has its place. Its place is not at the head of the class. It's within the mix. Okay. Like what that. if Garrett Cole, what what if they didn't take him out because of analytics? They took him out because they asked him in the dugout, like, hey, how, or they asked him, how are you feeling? He's like, I think I have this much left going into that inning no. where he was at. You just say no, no chance. No chance him with those that injury history. If he, that if he, he told said them, that, yeah. if he did, it's because he's been influenced by oh, analytical hey, thinking. I'm sure right. he knows Great what his arm feels Great like. Tech. No, I'm dead What serious. if it's just he knows what he's his been, arm feels he's like? He's been corrupted by that type of thinking, oh, if that's what no, he said. We're getting all the takes out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.